imagine being told that your child is cursed simply because they were born differently. For too many families in Africa, this is their reality. Children with Down syndrome in Africa are seen as cursed, taboos, and outcasts. Their families and society cast them aside, leaving them without proper care and support. We follow the story of Nakai, a beautiful young girl born with Down syndrome as she faces discrimination and maltreatment from her own family. This is her story. A story of overcoming adversity, breaking down societal barriers, and finding acceptance and love. We also delve into the advocacy efforts of organizations like Nurturing Nations and the Body Walk event that aim to celebrate people of all abilities. We capture the infectious spirits of individuals with Down syndrome and their families as they come together to showcase their talents and abilities, proving that Down syndrome is not a curse but simply another form of diversity. Discrimination and stigmatization plague individuals with Down syndrome globally, regardless of race or economic background. However, the challenges they face in African communities where differently abled people are often maltreated and abused are particularly pronounced. Long-standing cultural and religious beliefs have hindered the full acceptance of those born with this genetic condition. Organizations like Nurturing Nations are paving the way for a more inclusive society. Nurturing Nations was designed with two primary areas of focus. First, helping children with special needs, and second, providing education as a road out of poverty for Ghana's underprivileged children. Because of deeply rooted cultural prejudices against individuals with disabilities in Ghana, few children with disabilities are treated with the care and consideration they deserve. Many live out their whole lives in orphanages where food is meager and care inadequate, and these are often the lucky ones. We hope that by providing living facilities, supplies, and care for children with special needs, we can challenge the outdated beliefs that make persecution of children with special needs the norm. We believe that every child deserves to be raised in a caring environment with adequate food and shelter. In Ghana, a country grappling with similar societal prejudices, one couple exhibited their ignorance towards the disease publicly. The mistreatment, their determination, to rid themselves of that curse, little Kai was abhorrent. The torture Kai went through almost took her beautiful life until the unwavering love and determination of Mr. and Mrs. Belk laid down the foundation for Kai's future, a future full of possibilities and beauty. In September 2023, the Body Walk event was organized by the NDSS to celebrate individuals with Down syndrome and break down the barriers of discrimination. Two African royals, Na Okale Osamanye and Na Abadenswa, Queen Mothers from Accra, Ghana, were invited by Mrs. Laura Belk to show support to their very own. I told me now, Okanli Usamanye. Bessie man, you sure not alone. When then, ye money by ye, ye American, eh? Ye oblayo fioko ni a mole ni a care at a wole a care a ye a care onufu ni a folly. Nimoko Smolly Nimene Guinea 
moko emu emi ni eto bo blofonyo ni le ibaka ni ina gbeke ni emso shani jomo o ka ba hama mi e eye mo bo ka reho ka ona ka de sisije keni gbeke kan ni mene eto bo ni kase mo baba o ye ni sa ni wo kase ke ahiye ko ni afo inye ma yu ake anu to fun e ja ke ma na mi anu to fa sha fo e ku na kan ni solo boni aku o gbe ke bi aha ye ma na mi na ka no ji wo hu ye africa man inye ma ka ke gbe gana pe shi ye wo medije man ke mo ku niye ko ni efo he la che ke ke abu le gbe the cost of the house, no pay, no fine, no care. What that will be? What that will be? No small. You know how to be there. I can't make it. I say, I am in. Chebi le J I am. You know how to be a big house. The flat is made in the way I know. I go on the bee. The yo ma musumi. The one na ke. One for you, one for no. She too too blame. I fwa ba hiyo. The one ba phone. The one no ni wo for. Tu peux que bien faire, que me dis à me, que me dis que bien, ni à toi à ma fond, ni à toi à mes yeux, tu, que ni bien papa, à me hou que bien, que me à des saints dis à me, ni que wa bani ou mon est que bien ni mi, ni wa toi c'est à me, à me y mi chez bi. Africa. <laughs> ni oyo se o ma pa fai a ke shi e te be bi ni bi an ni no no ba ka se ni wo wa ko de an a tutu mo ka han be bi ni a ka pata mi hin e ja ka mo hun be me ji am tin wo na wo ka to ya ke shi ka wo ni wo te ni ke na gba mi ni a fo bo ni ni ke o chun ni ke bo na ke shi a a mo o se te alo a mo wa la he from the heart of Manhattan's Times Square, where giant screens displayed vibrant portraits of individuals with Down syndrome, to a joyful walk in the Central Park, the atmosphere was electrifying and the looks on their faces priceless. Karaoke performances and engaging exhibitions further highlighted the abilities and talent of these extraordinary individuals. Coincidentally, the event coincided with the New York Fashion Week celebrations, adding colorful flair to the occasion. The royal guests from Ghana made striking appearances. Their traditional attire and symbols within symbolized the notion that Down syndrome was simply another aspect of diversity and uniqueness. It is clear that the stigmatization of people living with Down syndrome is a global problem. Each year, around 6,000 babies are born with Down syndrome across the globe, with many families feeling sorry and burdened, mostly because Down syndrome is by far the most common and best known chromosal disorder and the most common cause of intellectual 
disability. We mostly believe children with Down syndrome suffer from intellectual disabilities so severe that they do not and will not ever lead fulfilling lives. What we miss is the reality that children with Down syndrome have IQs that fall within the mild to moderate range of intellectual disability and educators are still discovering the full educational potential of people with Down syndrome. Extra chromosomes does not diminish their humanity. Like you and me, they experience the full range of emotions, but their bubbliness shines through the challenges they face. People had told us that nothing prepares you for Africa because the conditions are so difficult and they're, and they're easy to observe. There's lots of need. Children with, with special needs, children that, are, that deviate in some way from the norm are all considered cursed. That's the culture. People look at pictures and they'll think, well, it doesn't look that bad. But when you're there and you see that there's everything that you can imagine, the smells and the sights and the sounds, this is their life every day in this home where we have air conditioning and we have clean water. We can't just sit here and say, oh well, we can't do that. We have to do something. When we went over to adopt Kai, what we knew was that she was a child who had special needs. She had Down syndrome. She had been severely neglected and her birth mother just could not care for her. So. The father took Kai without the mother's knowledge and delivered her to this priestess. In the case of Kai, they took a snake and they burned it to a crisp and they make some cuts in the child and they put that ash in those cuts. And the woman was about to uh, give her a concussion and then take her out and leave her. And Kai, she looked straight into the eyes of that woman and she wouldn't divert her eyes. And the woman said, this child has something important to do. And she called the mom and said, I can't take care of her, you come and get her. And, and I know clearly now what it is. Her, her job, the thing that she contributes to other people, she helps them understand the value of every human life. The journey of acceptance for individuals with Down syndrome requires concerted efforts in research, advocacy, and specially designed educational programs. It requires the power of community outreach and media publicity in changing societal attitudes. And in Africa, where ignorance and stigma still prevail strongly, it is crucial to educate the population about Down syndrome simply being another disability with its unique qualities. Little Kai now leads a happy and fulfilling life, embraced by her new family, society and parents. Mr. and Mrs. Belk have given her the opportunities and nurturing environment she needs to thrive. The story of Princess Kai is a testament to the transformation that can occur when love, acceptance and education supersedes outdated beliefs. Break the chains of stigma and celebrate the extraordinary lives of individuals with Down syndrome. Together, let us create a world that embraces unique abilities and unwavering spirit of every individual, regardless of the number of their chromosomes. Disability is also 
and ability. Say no to stigmatization. My name is Lara Belk and I'm founder and president of Nurturing Nations. And I want to invite you to be a part of something amazing, saving lives.